welcome back to another millennial in debt video we are back on track for our stock tip tuesday although i don't really know what back on track means nothing is back on track right the world all right so i am going to be talking to you about stocks today um i saw this post and i'll put it up here and i'll read it because i don't have it memorized obviously um where my wealth diary and engineer studio showed an etf called the minority empowerment etf and the ticker is nacp okay so that uh, invests only in s p companies that promote racial equity in every aspect of their business right so if it's from hiring um all sorts of other diversity and inclusion inclusive nature things in inclusive nature can't even speak anymore um so yeah so i haven't invested in that just yet but it is something that i want to start looking into and with anything especially in this video and in all my videos where we're talking about stocks you want to make sure that you one look into it yourself do your due diligence and research before putting any of your money in any particular stock at all and two you want to definitely speak to a financial advisor if you want to get further into the investing world and you don't want to just dive in without having as much background information that you can have so out of all of the research that I've done in preparation to make this video, which I got the idea from that particular Instagram post, um, like I mentioned, there are about 4,000 companies, well not about, there are 4,000 companies that publicly trade on the New York Stock Exchange. And as of 2015, black people own 2.6 million companies in this country. Now out of those 4,000 uh, stocks or companies on the New York Stock Exchange and out of all of those 2.6 million companies that are run by black people, only 12 companies are on the New York Stock Exchange, right? So only 12 of those companies out of 4,000 are being publicly trade, traded. So let that sink in. That's a really uh, disturbing, unfun fact. Um, and in a lot of my research, I haven't been able to find all of the 12 companies, so I wanted to, to definitely film and prepare this video to come out on time for tomorrow, which is June 9th, I think. Um, so by the time, hopefully, that I edit, I will have access to all 12, but if not, these are the ones that I was able to find that you might want to have some interest in. So the first category that I was able to look into or find publicly traded black owned companies was in banking, right? So the first company that I was able to run into or able to find was Citizens Bank, which I think their ticker is CZBS. I'll definitely put everything correct, you know, how uh, with the acronyms and things, right? So Citizens Bank um, or Citizens Trust offers the same type of banking services that all banks that we're familiar with offers, um, and it is just so happens to be black owned and publicly traded. IBWC is the second company, which is for an industrial bank financial corporation. Um, again, similar bank services. They also offer business help for small businesses, um, business loans, I should say, for small businesses. So if you are a business owner or looking into going into business, IBWC is something you might want to invest in, or also you might want to look into to help get your business off the ground. So mechan mechanics and farmers bank, um, F M F P B. Yeah, I'll, you know, sorry. Mechanics and farmers bank offers consumer and commercial banking services. Um, they are set in North Carolina, which I'm not sure if that means that they only operate in North Carolina or if that's just where their headquarters are. So if you do live in North Carolina or you are interested in M M F <laughs> M N F bank, um, that is something you will want to look into. Okay, Broadway Federal Corporation, what they are known for is providing savings and loan services for low income to moderate income families and they are based out in Southern California. So theirs is BFYC. <laughs> I don't even know why I try to memorize these things where I know I'm just going to post it. But Broadway Federal Corporation, in affiliation with Broadway Bank, that is what they work on. Low income to moderate income for savings and for small business services. For my people out in New York, I know I've been talking about banks all over this, the country. Carver Bank, so C-A-R-V, I know that one. Very easy. They offer services out in New York. Now what they're offering is for savings and business for both consumer and commercial and I believe quasi-government. Let me double check that. Right, so <laughs> they provide banking services for governmental and quasi-governmental agencies, right? So if any of that is interesting to you and you want to open an account with them, or like I said, you just want to invest, Carver Bank is situated in New York and that is something that you should absolutely look into. Okay, leaving the banking world, we have Urban One, which their ticker is U-O-N-E. Um, and they are a 
pretty much media agency. They used to be normal, normally, formerly known as Radio One. Um, I had never heard of them before. I'm actually really interested in the services that they provide in the media world. Um, and also interested in investing in them, obviously. So that is something that you definitely want to look into if you're looking into like multimedia, media agencies, and that's something you've never heard of. You won. You, yeah, U O N E. We have American Shared Hospital with their ticker as AMS. With them, with them, what they and their subsidiaries do, they lease radio surgery and radiotherapy products to different healthcare providers and healthcare uh, agencies across the country. Um, you want to think like the pursuit of happiness on a much, 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 much grander scale uh, where he was going around trying to sell his little product to, not little, his product to um, different hospitals and things like that. That is what AMS does on a much grander, wider scale. RLJ Lodging with their ticker is RLJ. They fall into the real estate sector of the uh, stock market. If you don't know what sectors are, I did over on Instagram. Um, leave like a little insta story thing so you can catch up on them but that's where i explain all the sectors so they're part of the real estate sector they're a real estate agency they invest in real estate across the country they also manage real estate so if real estate is your passion or if you want to support black owned real estate agencies rlj is definitely something that you should invest in or look into i'm not gonna say invest in because like i said do your research but if it's something you find that you want to invest in and it's black owned that's definitely cherry on the ice cream, on the cake. I don't know, I'm a vegan, I'm boring. And the last black owned publicly traded company is RLJ Entertainment. Um, they actually created Urban Movie Channel and they're a distribu distribution company of media and entertainment. Um, and they work with like international companies in Britain and all these other places. So Urban One and RLJ are definitely two things that I want to look into, especially because I'm, I'm really like big into the media and entertainment world. And I want to support more black business and I want to learn more about black businesses in these, these spheres, spheres. Oh, I can't even speak. Um, so that is definitely something that I'm going to be looking into. And I hope this video was helpful. I hope we're all doing as best as we can, taking deep breaths when necessary, disconnecting from the internet when necessary, and I'll catch you on the next one.